Good morning. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Shafon Edison, and today we are not doing any makeup because, like I said, as you guys seen in my last, my last two videos, that I'm breaking out. I mean, it looks like my skin's getting better now, but I still see little bumps there. I don't know if y'all see, but that's because I'm due for my new year. New, you know what is like what I told you guys from last time. That I'm due for it. I just took my, I'm on birth control, obviously. And I just took my Friday's pill, like, this morning or whatever. And it's 11.05 now. So. Okay, let's get started with this video. But my skin is getting there. Um, my industrial does not hurt much anymore. I have not been bumping it. I've been really careful. So I'm really excited about um, in six months because it'll be June. Because I got it done in January, so it'll be June, and I'm excited because I've seen this cool bar that I really want, this really pretty, um, and yeah, I'm really excited, and it'll be smaller because this bar is pretty big, but yeah, so uh, I mean, what a, so anyways, let's get started with the video. So today, I'm, like I said, I'm not showing you guys any makeup, um, there is probably gonna be a video tomorrow, which is Saturday, and I just feel like making, like, a little short one for today, for Friday. So happy Friday. So today I'm just talking about here. Just to switch it up and it can be fun. What is this? Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about here. So this is Hot Topics. I had this of one of my birthdays. Um this hair is still good in shape. Um this hair came like really long. It's purple and tilt is the color. Um, heat friendly, but it's really not heat friendly, guys. Cause my hairdresser was like, "Oh, girl, <laughs> this is not heat friendly. This is just something you have to brush out." But anyways, um, supposedly heat friendly, and um, it's twenty three inches long. But I, um, my like I said, my hairdresser does my hair, who's also my best friend, and she knows how to like um cut like how to cut it where it can like fit your face and everything. So this is what it looks like. It looks like that now because I didn't brush it. But um, this is what it looked like when I had it one of my birthdays. Because sometimes I like to rock my like emo look. But see how long it is. That's really long. And um, Hot Topics, guys. I don't think they sell any more of these. You're going to have to go online. But uh, I locked up one of my birthday, like the week before my birthday or whatever. It was on clearance because I asked them in the store and they said no, they didn't have it. And then I found it. So sometimes they don't always know what they have in their store. So, but that's okay because we're not all gonna know. I worked in Jake's Pennies, so I understand. Sometimes I don't know what's all, and I didn't know what's always in Jake's Pennies. I knew a little bit, a good amount, but not everything. So, but if I didn't know, I learned from others. So, because I worked in Jake's Pennies, Home Goods, so I have the experience for a store. So, and no, I didn't start my new job yet, guys. I'm see, I'm trying to bait because they only had the trainings on Wednesdays and Thursdays, but I work at my daycare job, um, Wednesdays and Thursdays. So I'm kind of like trying to debate what I want to do, you know what I mean, or how I'm gonna do that. But I'm. I probably will try to get some hours in for, like, the summer, because I do want to work there in the summer. So, yeah. Okay, then let me show you the other half of how the hair looks, of the ones that's cut up real quick. It's not going to be a real long video. I promise, guys. See? See, this needs to be brushed out. <laughs> it looks like a rat tail. But, um... This is what it looked like, and I would just clip it in my hair, just like that, like when I had my sew-ins in to look emo. Um, I do want to, like, either get highlights, like my natural, see all this, this is my natural hair. I do want it. it's just in a bonnet, but I do want to get highlights or eventually um, either highlight my hair and have, like, blue tips. I'm going to talk to my hairdresser about that, or I do want to dye my hair. I think I should just get... Um, highlights, because I never had highlights in my natural hair before, so I'm thinking about doing that, but I'm thinking in June, I'm going to be getting the, the um, crochet braids in, so I'm going to have to hold that off, but maybe for my birthday, I can get 
like real highlight like real highlights in my hair and it can be blue or something because it's my favorite color so but it does the blue would be darker than this blue though like i don't know i guess like a oil blue highlight or um any blue darker than this but yeah so this is what this looked like and i would have this with the sewing and like the straight hair and with my emo bang that's what i had on one of my birthdays before Oh yeah, and I um, it's it's been like seven dollars for this, but I think I got a discount from like Hot Topics or whatever, so it was like less than that. And I just kept it, so. And I think I was, I believe I was turning twenty two when I had that color in, but it was cute, guys. Um, I haven't lately showed you guys picture other pictures of me. Of part of my um vlog lately but I will go I promise I will go back of doing that again because you guys do like it when I do that too so <laughs> I don't know when but I will do that too okay now this is my crochet braids I have let's see one two three Look, now I'm, I just got an email saying the Hot Topics is, uh, will give me $20 if I buy so much, like, so, depending, like, I think on jeans or accessories. I'm probably going to look in there today if my job is still open. I have not got the phone call yet, but I guess she is still open. I mean, the street is clear, but my sidewalk is full of nothing of snow, um, uh, nothing but full of snow. So, yeah. Okay, I miscounted, guys. So, one, two, three four, five, six. And I had a lot of packs from before, guys. So there, I have, um, but I use, like, most of it in my hair. So that's where you guys got to see that really pretty, um, brown hair. Crochet, it was actually crochet braids, and it was braided up, and it was nice. And I got a lot of styles out of it. Um, I really love that hair. Um, the hairstyle is so cute. It's so easy to take care of and just shake and go. Style and go. I love it. Um, I was going to get it done, like, y'all can see, Betty Boop. I was going to get it done for, like, um, in April, for, like, before Easter, but my um, industrial piercing doesn't fully heal until six months, which is in June. So I'm just going to wait until June to get my hair done, so that way I can have my crochets back in. and. My hairdresser already said that I could, uh, that uh, I can get this back in. So I'm just going to have to tell her either today or tomorrow that I'll just wait until um, June to get this crochet in because I really love this. And she already said I can, like, put in, um, we can use these six packs until they're gone. So... And it lasts a couple, um, like, good months, and, yeah, and that's when it starts getting itchy, and then it gets raggedy after it's spinning your hair, because it's old, so, you cannot keep curls, so, but this is my favorite curl, and favorite curl brand, um, I actually found this online, and originally I bought six bags, and then I bought six more bags, and this, and then we use, like, um, a lot of bags, and now we have, like, six bags left. So we're just going to use this because I'm going to wear it short because I, when I start it, you know how, how long her hair is. That's how long I wear mine. So that way, if I wanted to, I would wear some to the side some days or I would have it flipped in the back. And so you straight down. So when I turn, you can see how long it is and it's long and curly because I always love curly hair. My hair is like straight texture mixed with like curly but I don't like my not see this all her hair is my natural. I really don't care for my natural hair. That's why I said I want to get eventually get highlights in my hair, like my natural hair. So, but yeah, but um, I think I found this brand originally off of Macari, and 
she only had six bags. So I had to get six more bags. So I had to search this name and this brand. And then I had to redo my homework and make sure that it was the same color and everything. This is F4 and 30. And this is um, Water Wave Blue Moon 14 inches. And with a whole bunch of bags, it makes it longer. But since I only have six bags left, because like I said, I have used this in my hair before. This is just another... These are new packs that never been used, which it is going. I'm going to be using in June. Um, I'm only going to need six bags, and I'm going to wear it like um shoulder length, cause I wear it shoulder length before. So, cause I like the longer length and the shoulder length. So, and F4 kind of looks like uh because they're just F4 and 30. I meant. Um, 30 is like, looks like, uh, kind of like a chocolate color to me, and F4 could be in between a darker brown, but it, when it hits the light, it is, when it hits the light, it is so nice, guys, so, yeah, this here is definitely worth it, um, I'm probably gonna search this brand again off of the same website to see if they have anything like blue or something, you know, just a little blue in it, so, but, I'm probably not gonna do nothing that fancy until, like, September, which is where my, my when my birthday is, but um in June, I can't wait to get this in, and I can't wait to get the um the earring that I was talking about for my industrial piercing because it's gonna be so pretty. It has like little crystal things. It's gonna be so pretty. I can't wait. I can't wait to have a smaller bar for this because it does not hurt. I have not been bumping it lately as much. I've been extremely careful. Um, yeah. So. So yeah, I'm excited to get this back in. Uh, and the textures, guys. Let's see if I can feel it. This is feels so nice, guys. So, oh yeah, and it's fast and easy to do. But I never do my hair. My best friend does my hair, who's also my hairdresser. So yeah. So. Um, and then some of my videos, you guys see me brush my hair to the side and wear it to the side because of my piercing. So, six more months. And what's the day? Already February the 1st? Yep. We're going in two months, guys. So far, we're halfway there. I can't wait. Oh, I just can't wait for it to be warm, guys. I'm so excited so I can put on my cute clothes and then I can make, uh, make workout videos for you guys. You guys can see me working out at home and doing yoga, and fun stuff like that. A lot of fun stuff. So, so I'm really excited on this everything. <laughs> so, and I'm also thinking about making concert videos too, because, like, of me going to concerts and stuff, because I love going to concerts a lot in the summertime, and um, the Backstreet Boys was coming, so as soon as I found a one... The tickets go on sale. I'm going to definitely go to the... I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why my email keeps going in. Getting all these, like, coupons. Anyways, but what I was saying was, I'm going to make a video of me going to a concert and, like, you know what I mean? Getting ready to go to a concert and stuff. Because all the whole... Almost the whole summer, I like going to concerts because they're so fun. They're, like, better than just going to the club and going party and just getting drunk. Like, most of the time, I just don't want to do all that. But at a concert... Um, I drink a little bit. I don't get drunk at a concert, but I drink a little bit, and, yeah, and um, anyways, the Backstreet Boys is coming, so as soon as they had, um, announced on the website when the tickets go on sale, I'm gonna get those tickets early, so, because, um, that way I can go, and then I'm gonna get two tickets, one for me, and then whatever friend that wants to go with me, because I'm not missing the Backstreet Boys, because people don't know what they want to do, so, <laughs> And my mom likes Backstreet Boys, so she'll go with me if a friend, you know, wants to, like, play around. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really excited about that. They are coming uh, September the, the 23rd, so it's a day before my birthday because my birthday is on the 24th. And the 24th, I usually just get my free birthday drink from Starbucks because I have the Starbucks app. And I just go shopping, and I chill, and I, um... Either the 22nd or the 21st, I get my nails done before, my nails and toenails done. 
So, and then I put on, I always have new outfits. I always put on new outfits. That's about it. So, me wanting to go, just the fact that they're having a concert, a Backstreet Boy concert on September 23rd before my birthday is awesome because I'm totally going. So, I'm going to get tickets. We just don't know. I just don't know when the tickets going to sell, but when I do, I'm definitely getting tickets. So, because every year I try to plan something fun for my birthday. Like last year, uh, my best friend and I, uh, we went to a Totals 90s um, party. And um, it was so worth it because tickets, I forget how much they cost. I think it wasn't expensive. I think I spent like $28 or something for two. And it was worth it because we had the VIP. And guys, let me tell you, VIP was so worth This was last year. VIP was so worth it. It was so nice. The bar was so lit. Okay, like literally lit. And I like the dance floor. I liked how that they had the dance floor. It was actually a swim pool, right? But the swim pool was closed because it was it wasn't open that day. But um, the sw the floors, the dance floor is actually a swim pool, and they have this clear glass that you can look over and dance on the whole entire night long, and it's so nice. And it, guys, it was packed. That's why everybody buys their tickets at the time because it was packed guys like literally packed everybody was going out to this then got their tickets ahead of time so they can meet and greet with cow because if you guys know who cow is but he's off he's good burger dude off of good burger from the 90s so if you're from the 90s you wouldn't you would know who he is if you're not from the 90s i mean i don't know what to tell you but if you are from the 90s like me you would know who he is he is a um, rapper a singer we know he dances, and um, he's a stand-up comedy, and um, yeah, so he's, he's you know, he's bomb, but he's married, but I'm just saying, he's bomb, so he's like bomb with his career, so I met him in person, so if you would see some of my um, vlogs from before, at the end of my video, you guys would see like different cool pictures. And you guys would meet seeing him. And I put a little video. I don't know if you guys, y'all probably already seen it. But I put a little video of me recording him and talking about when they're going to have the next Good Burger. They're going to have a Good Burger too. And yo, that's going to be bomb. I can't wait for them to have Good Burger too. I'm excited. So, and then since we have these cool, what's cool about these electronics guys is that Especially Apple. I mean, all electronics is good, but I'm an Apple girl. So, especially Apple. What I like about Apple is that all you got to do is buy an iTunes card, right? And then whatever show you want, all you got to do is um, set it up on your iTunes and then sync it. And then you can have whatever movie you want, whatever show you want. So, yeah. And then you can watch it for free on YouTube.com. Every once in a while, when I have time and I'm not... What time is it? Oh, okay. I have time. And I'm not at work. I watch um, reruns of Gut Burger because those brings, brings me back of good memories of my childhood. And me sitting there laughing and blah, 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 because those were good days. So, because this, kid, this kid's generation, man, they lazy. They don't want to do nothing. In the summertime, they don't even go outside and play in the park. They want to be on YouTube. We didn't even know what YouTube was until I got in elementary, and then we had to have teacher's permission to be on YouTube. Like, and then we didn't even use YouTube. We had to use the other site. I think, um, I think it was called the AL Count or something. I can't remember. But it was something like that. It was called AOL Account or something like that. And then they had, like, videos on there, but you had to make a create an email to be able to watch those videos on there. So, it's like, we didn't even have that, like, and then, I mean, I had a computer probably when I was, like, 12, 15, but I was playing kid games, though, on there. I was also doing learning games on there, too, because I did go to regular school, but I also played kid games on there, too, on the weekends of, like, animated games, like, IMVU, because IMVU was popular, popular then, and Wii World, and I don't know what the heck is wrong with Wii World, but... I guess we roll just banish, but I am you. I used to play I am you on my laptop because I had HP before I actually had Apple laptop, and I kept having viruses on my HP laptops on my desktop, 
first I had a desktop, which is in the other room. And then I had an HP laptop. And then I kept getting viruses on that. So my mom's like, it has to be your game because it keeps putting viruses on my computer. Well, our computer. But that's what she said. And I was like, alright. So, and then I was kind of upset about it because I was young. I was like, oh, this is my favorite game in the world. Like, what am I going to do? And then they came out with this app that doesn't put viruses on your computer and your phone but and it's it's i right. like i said it's getting kind of i'm used getting kind of played out um i'm getting ready to like not want this game anymore so once my membership is up on there i'm just not gonna play it anymore now i do a like coloring app on my phone so just to relax me i mean i draw and stuff too but when, when i'm not home i don't have time to draw or i come home late from work Oh, excuse me. I come late from work, so I don't have time to do that, all that drawing stuff. I barely have time to even write in my diary. Like, I haven't wrote my diary since, like, last year. So, maybe I'll do that this, like, Sunday or something. But, anyways, so, yeah. <clears throat> I'm really excited for Backstreet Boys because this is their first time actually coming in my state. So, I'm very excited because... I remember the Backstreet Boys when they first released the video, and I'm just like, oh my god, these boys are so awesome. So, and I love their music. Every once in a while, I do still listen to their music, because I love their music. So, but yeah, this generation is so lazy, but yeah, I love their music. And what's nice about my generation is kids, because this is what I can say. We play with our baby dolls. I don't know about you guys, but I played with my baby dolls up until like, 16 because I was like okay yeah I'm 16 now I know I can drive blah 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 I didn't even have to worry about that because I wasn't even worrying about trying to learn how to drive then just because I'm like one I have two parents they don't live in the same house but two parents that can take me places my brother is older than me he can take me to places so I wasn't worrying about it I was still trying to hold on to my baby dolls because I was still thinking I was a kid even though I was 16, and I was considered a young adult, as they say, I didn't care. I still think that I was, a, you know, a kid. You know what I mean? I wasn't ready to grow up yet. Because everybody else was acting fast. doesn't mean I should act fast. Everybody going to jump off the cliff. I ain't jumping off the cliff. I'm going to sit there and watch you jump off the cliff, but I ain't jumping off. So, and that's just how I seen it. We're at, still playing baby dolls at 16. So... I was just trying to hold on to them. I was just trying to enjoy my childhood. So I had to be ready to quit the baby dolls when I was ready to. So, and then I think 17 or 8. No, no, I think, yeah, I think it was 17. 17, then that's when I stopped. And then I just got rid of all my brats. I was obsessed with brats, rub brats. I had a lot of rub brats stuff, a lot of brat stuff. I had a brats cake for my birthday that one year. I had a brats bread spread and the, the sheets and all that because my room was purple at one time. Um, yeah. And yeah, so. All right, I'm going to put this away real quick, guys. But, um, yeah. I was Bratz and Barbie queen of, I had a lot of Bratz and Barbie everything. And then I remember those twin dolls that my dad bought me that came with this big stroller that was bigger than me. And I remember that they was these cute chocolate black baby doll, robot baby dolls. And, or all you guys would say dark skin, whatever. They was cute and they moved their eyes just like a real baby and was like, when you squeeze or something, they will be like, Mom, I don't know. I don't remember the name, guys. I got to remember the name. But the brand name of them. I can't remember the brand name of them. It's not coming to me but right now. But I remember them saying, Oh, Mommy. I love you, Mommy. And they would just move their heads like this. It'd be so, it was just so cute. Like, I remember all my stuff that I had when I was younger. Like, it's crazy. All my movies from, there was VCR. It wasn't DVD. I didn't have DVD then. DVD then. I have D, um, a Blu-ray combo downstairs for movies and stuff, which is like both Blu-ray and um, DVDs. But then we didn't have DVDs then. We had VCR. I remember learning how to work the VCR myself. 
and everything. And from down to Barney, to the Rev Rats, to Hey Arnold, all of them. And plus, I used to watch all the shows on TV, all the new ones on TV. So, we did stuff. And then we loved playing outside, outside in the summertime when we was little, too. I remember even playing in the snow. But now that I'm older, I'm like, oh, no, I can't do no snow. But when I was little, I used to love the snow. I used to throw snowballs at my mom. <laughs> so, and then she, she would never throw them at me back. She was like, oh, you better not keep throwing snowballs at me, young lady. She would just do this. And then I was just like, okay. <laughs> so, but, yeah, like, we had fun when we was little. These kids don't want to do nothing. They want to be on YouTube. Like I said, we didn't know YouTube was until I got into, like, elementary and high school. That's when we knew about the YouTube. And then I didn't even care. I watched the YouTube, but not that much. I wasn't a YouTube freak. I was too busy on I'm the You and We World. So, those were my two things I was obsessed with. So... And I was obsessed with Wii World until up until college, and then I don't know what happened. I mean, I still have my Wii World account and everything, but I think Wii World doesn't even exist no more because the website doesn't even pull up anymore. But, yeah. And then, I, um, I said I love rats, stuff. I do. Okay. A rats. Um. I don't know, guys. I just, I just know I had a lot when I was little. Oh, yeah, and then I started collecting, I think, at 16. Or, yeah, maybe younger than that. And then, I don't know if you guys can see, but way up there is a black Barbie and a black Ken. And it's Swan Lake. And I would start, I was collecting them, I think, either 15 or 16. All I remember was real young. Because I'm 24, real young, and I kept them because they're collectors. Never opened them because my dad was like, you can't open these. These are collectors. I said, okay. So I kept them. I didn't want to fill my room with nothing full of shelf when I was rearranging my room and turning my room into, um, from uh, to pink, from purple to pink. And, and um, so I was like, okay. So I didn't want to just put a whole bunch of Barbies on the shelf. I didn't want all these shelves in here. That's why I have so much space in here. I didn't want to put all these shelves. So, I put these ones that I really, really like the best from my dad downstairs. I put them. So, now they're probably worth money. But I don't know, but I'm not going to really sell them. I'm going to keep them forever and ever until my kids have kids. But, in the future. But, yeah. So, I kept these ones up here. And then I have a lot in the basement that I think I probably will sell. Or, I might just buy, like, a cabinet and put my collector Barbies in. But, yeah. So... That's that. But yeah, I had a good childhood. I also remember this, um, when the Bratz had a, um, digital video game, and I had the Yasmin there. My favorite Brat doll was Yasmin because she had a beauty mark on one side of her face. I mean, I love Sasha. Don't get me wrong. I love the Sasha. Sasha was pretty cute with her little poop balls. But I love the Yasmin the best because she was light-skinned, and she had a little, little... I don't know if it was supposed to be a mole or a freckle, but I just thought that she was so cute with her pretty brown eyes, and I had brown eyes. Um, and I think hers more is like hazel, but mine's was like a dark, kind of like a dark brown. But still, I just liked her because she had brown eyes, and I had brown eyes. She was light skin with little freck, a uh, little freckle or beauty mark. I have a lot, as you guys can see, because I don't have no makeup on. Look. I have a lot of freckles, so I was just like, she looks kind of a little bit just like me, just like a little bit. So I was like, oh yeah, she's my daughter. Like, when they brought out the Bratz babies, I was like, that's my daughter. Yasmin's my daughter. Like, that's my daughter. <laughs> like, I used to get, like, really mean if people, like, go in the cousin's house and we would watch the Brat Baby movie. Because I had Brat Baby movie, then I had Brat Super Babies movie, and I remember. But the Brat Baby movie was the first one, and I brought to my cousin's house, and they were like, Oh, well, I'm, I'm taking Sasha. Sasha's my daughter. I said, okay, that's cool. Because my uh, my cousin was dark-skinned. So I was like, okay, that's cool. And then I was like, okay, mine's was Yasmin. And then this other girl, I guess her who was her friend. I don't know. Her friend. She wasn't our cousin, but she was our friend. And she was like, oh, but Yasmin's my daughter. I was like, no, she's not. She don't look like you. Like, you, you no offense, you dark-skinned. I'm light-skinned. She look like me. 
They was like, but you have freckles everywhere. I was like, okay, but she has that one mole, that one freckle. I was like, my daughter. Like, I used to be, like, really not really a nice kid. I was a nice kid to some people. They're not everybody. I was like, no. She's my daughter. And I was like, it's my movie. And I make the rules. Because I used to be like that. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not like that now. But I was like, well, I was used to be like that. I was like, yes, it's my daughter. So my mom made sure that everything was brat and Jasmine related form of brat dolls. My mom was on it. She was like, okay, well, she, she really loved this brat doll. So now they have these new toys called, uh, what is it? Monster High. That's dumb. Um, LOL. Oh my god, y'all. That LOL stuff is so annoying. If I hear one more thing about LOL, I just want to vomit. I'm like, man, they're just like brat babies and stuff. They change the name. Most of these toys that they have, like Barbie and stuff, they change the name. And then brats, brats is like gone. They stopped like since last year. I went on the website last year. I mean, no, this year. And they stopped at 2018 was their last year for brats. That's when, when you talk to kids about brats, they're like, what is that? I'm like, oh, right. I forgot your generation doesn't know anything about that. <laughs> like, my mom still remembers my very, very first baby doll. Um, it was called um, Thumbelina. When she would, um, you have to, like, put batteries in her or something. And then she would, um, you, you have to, like, hold her or some type of way. And then she would fumble over and tipping over and stuff. And she remembers that. So I remember that baby doll, too, because I remember I had a black one. Because when I seen the commercial, it came back to me. I was like, oh, I remember that. It was, I had a black one. So, but yeah. And then these kids, they just be like, oh, it, it looks brats. I'm like, it's better than y'all stupid LOL and some of y'all stupid music. We had good music and awesome toys when we was little in the 90s. Like, y'all don't know what y'all missing because the 90s was bomb. Like, bomb. Those, the 90s, all I can say is the 90s was the bestest time, so, of my life, so, next to all my birthdays, of course, but, yeah, so, alright, <clears throat> but that's that, I just want to talk to you guys about that for a little bit, um, and I wanted to show you guys here, and let's talk about little things with you guys, and it is 11.37, so, I don't want this video to be, like, extra long. So, I'll see you guys in my next one. Please like and subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. That would help me out. Okay. Bye, guys. Peace.